eliminated any interruptions or distractions. Hello, my fine vault dwelling friends everywhere. This is DJ, and I'm back with a quick tips video. Uh, I've gotten some qu questions on Twitter lately, and a lot of questions on Fallout Amino. Which, um, if you let me just stop here. If you don't know what Fallout Amino is, it's this great app for it's a uh, Fallout community, and they recently hit 25,000 users, and it's a really fun place. And if you're a Fallout fan like I am, it's a good place to go. But this is a quick. I had questions on, they said, how do you do that dual switch opener so easily without having to glitch anything or do anything extra? And I said, you know what, it only takes six parts and some wires. Let me show you how to do it real quick. Now, I'm not going to physically build this for you. I'm just going to go through what you need to build step by step and how to wire it. And basically, I'll show you from there. Okay. Now, the first thing, obviously, you're going to need is some power to bring into the building somewhere. So, we already have our power source right there, okay? You can build a switch plate whenever you want. This is the first thing you're going to have to build right here, which is the, uh, pass, the uh, wall conduit pass-through. And the power for the garage already comes as is, okay? So now that you got your pass-through built and your switch plate built, what you want to want to do is build the exact same thing right here, the exact same conduit part. Sorry about that. You, on our power that we brought in. And basically what that doing is doing is still bringing power into the building, but it's closing that part of the grid. And this will, what will power the building is this conduit right here. Okay. Then we're going to want to build a switch right here. And then we're going to also duplicate the building of this wall conduit pass through, except this time we're going to put it actually through the wall. Once we do that, we're going to want to repeat the same step. We're going to want to close that circuit off right here with the same exact piece. Okay? And now those are the pieces that you need. So what we're going to do right here is first we'll go inside. Now to make inside work after I've showed you what to do outside, all we're going to do is like this. You see this switch right, this wire right here? It's the switch from the conduit to the switch from the it's the wire from the switch to the conduit itself okay we're going to undo that and as you see there goes our power okay the other wire we're going to undo is this right here this is from the conduit wall pass through to the switch okay so basically it's like i said you just do like this to that which is bringing in the power okay and we go from here to here bang power again and then you test it out just to see if it works like so Great. Now we know the inside is covered, which is actually the second step, but I figured I'd show you that first so everything makes sense. Okay. Now that we have all our pieces in place, and I've already showed you how to, what, how to properly wire the inside, let's undo the outside. We'll undo that. Okay. We're going to undo that. And we're going to undo this. No. There we go. Now first off, we're going to need to bring the power in to the main power source, right like so. Okay? Very easily done. Then what we're going to want to do is bring this into here like that. Then we're going to want to bring our switch all the way up to the top power. And bang! The door opens just like that. And also, we'll test it to make sure everything is kosher. And look at that. Okay? Beautiful thing. And let me just walk you through it again right quick in case you missed it. Okay? When you open up your workshop mode, make sure you have power to go into the building. Just build the conduit pass-through right through there. I'll help if we could get into place. Okay. Once inside, you're going to build the same piece on what you brought in right here like so. That's what's going to bring power into the building and plus it closes up the power options. Okay, then you're going to hook this into this switch right here. Okay, and you're going to want to hook this from this from here directly into there. Once you come outside, 
the piece that you had already built to mimic the other side okay you're gonna close off as well and you're gonna bring that into the switch and then essentially you're going to bring the switch all the way up into there and everything will work just fine I hope this all made sense to you and if I didn't do it quite well enough or if you have any more questions pe feel pre uh, feel f free to leave a comment or anything else if you did enjoy this video and it helped you out a little bit and you didn't mind my ramblings because none of this is scripted please 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 leave a like or subscribe i can be reached at fallout amino i'm dj systemic there as well you can contact me at twitter at dj systemic and i also do stream occasionally live on twitch and that's dj slash well actually dj underscore systemic and I thank you very much for watching. Your time is so appreciated. And as always, much love, mad respect, and peace. Until next time.